What's up guys, Beastanko6, another cartoon video here for Silent Hunter 5. Um, I, so I've been getting some great feedback from guys on YouTube. Some people like it, some people don't, and that's fine. Um, the reason I'm doing it this way is because I'm, I'm taking small little subjects like torpedo depth settings here, and I'm discussing it. These aren't really, they're not dedicated full videos, so I'm not going to start up my game just to, you know, talk. So, really quickly, here's my little boat here, alright? Um, I know it looks wonderful it's the best boat in the world and we're going to talk about torpedo depth settings now there's two reasons we have them one is to set up the shot for either a an impact pistol impact against the hull obviously and then b a magnetic pistol so it explodes underneath the hull all right doesn't touch the boat it explodes underneath because historically and even today the keel of your ship your target ship is always the weakest so if you're able to get one underneath the keel, you're going to do some serious damage. I, I don't care how big the boat is or how powerful it is. It's going to do a lot, a lot of damage. All right, let's get rid of these arrows. Now, the second reason we have torpedo depth settings, the most important reason, is because of weather conditions. All right, there are two depth settings that you need to be aware of. And I've, I've discussed this before, but I'm going to do this video for your sake. There's depth one. I know this looks wonderful. And then you've got depth two. All right. Now, depth one has the least amount of success rate versus depth two, which it has the highest. I believe depth two is around 85, 90% success, whereas depth one has about a 45 success rate. <clears throat> but there's a reason why there's two depths, because if you have some serious wind speed going on, you're going to have to go deeper in the water in order to have a higher success. So if you're if you have something like a you know a destroyer or a you know a small freighter and you're trying to attack it in 30 you know meters per second winds, you're gonna have uh, uh, issues, right? You're gonna have to set it for you know some serious depth in order for the torpedo to be successful. Allow me to explain. So for depth one, the formula is real simple. It's wind speed times point to five and then for depth two it's wind speed times 0.4 and then you get your your result okay so let's do an example here if uh, if I want the best possible result on this boat okay on this boat right here I'm going to do my depth two which is wind speed let's say wind speeds 15 times 0.4 is going to be six meters in other words I have to set my torpedo six meters or more for this torpedo to have the least amount of premature detonations or or misses um uh possible okay so now you're dealing with you know draft so if the draft of the boat let's say the draft of this boat to the bottom is only three now look how deep i have to go i have to go under three meters now that's still pretty good you could hit that boat still um however if you've got more serious winds, so like when the wolves of steel, let me give you an example here. Uh, I have the patch set for 60 meters per second winds times 0.4. <laughs> okay, if, if it's 60 meter per second winds, I have to set my depth for 24 meters or more for an 85% chance of hitting. Obviously, I'm going to miss this boat completely. There's no way if the draft is three or four or even six. I'm, there's no way I'm going to hit the boat. <clears throat> and um, the reason I'm bringing up this video is because this is exactly what the sailors back in the day had to deal with as well. You know, the U-boat guys had to figure this out as well. A lot of guys in the U-boats didn't even attack ships in these weathers because of that purpose. You know, it's like, why am I sending a torpedo out if I'm not even going to hit the boat? You can try with, uh, here, let, let, just for, for fun, let me, let me do that same thing. 60 meter per second winds for depth one times 0.25, all right, 15. So now, instead of 24, it would be 15 meters. Still, look, if it's a three meter draft or a six meter draft, that's that's for a 45% chance of, of hitting the boat. So if you guys are going out there and you have some serious wind issues going on and you're missing these, these boats, don't feel bad. Now you understand the depth settings. Now you have some tools to work with to kind of give you an idea of what to do 
um, whether you should even attack the boat or not. Um, I hope this video helps. I hope uh, I hope you guys will be patient with me with these little cartoon videos. And uh, let me know what you thought of it. Thanks.